this is very interesting this load data here this is out of the uh, Lyman 12 gauge the little pamphlet you get um, number eight shot inch and a eighth ounce I'm actually having some trouble with this cycling through I'm using a hat filled SAS on this I loaded all these the same my primers change colors when I switch to a new box I find this very odd I reload these at the same time the only difference in these these were pre-primed came with uh, I'm assuming Remington primers but they're jamming up the green shells were a virgin and they uh, they shot fine they cycled the silver primered ones didn't cycle at all so here I've got five of the of those and I will do I'm gonna do five shots of that and then five of the silver primer or the uh, brass primers So what is that, two out of three, or two out of five got hung up? And I think those primers are wrong. I think they were mic or mislabeled. One out of five very weird let's get this tripod off here but what I had I had these which came pre-prime these are old these are from the 90s uh, these cycled fine they were virgin I was the first one to reload them they did fine they cycled it every round Now these I switched halfway through and got a new box of primers. These were the old primers and then the brass color CCIs. So I wonder if something screwed up with the open box of primers I had. Very interesting. Not that it's very scientific, but the kick on the 12 gauge is the same for all three of these shells. I don't think there's really a point to this video. It's just kind of interesting. This way I can go back and look at it down the road and see what's going on. You guys have a great day and keep shooting.